if you say that Ram is an avatar, av antra means sent from Almighty God. If you say that, I've got no objection. If you say Ram is a messenger of God, maybe he is, maybe he is not. Because our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, there were 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. By name, only 25 are mentioned in the Quran. Ram may be a messenger of God, maybe he is, maybe he is not. I cannot say for sure, but even if Ram was a messenger of God, even if Krishna was a messenger of God, he was sent only for those people and for that time. Today, all the human beings, whether they live in India, whether America, whether Canada, whether UK, whether Saudi Arabia, they should follow the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I am not saying this. It is your scripture. Agar aap padhenge aapke kitab, Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyayta 3, Shlokas 5 to 8, Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyayta 3, Shlokas 10 to 27, speak about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 127, verse number 1 to 14, Atharva Ved, book number 20, Hymn number 21, verse number 6. Atharva Ved, book number 20. Hymn number 21, verse number 7. Rig Ved, book number 1. Hymn number 53, verse number 9. Speak about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He is mentioned as Ahmad. Ahmad means one who is worth praising. One who praises. One who praises is called as Ahmad. He is mentioned as Ahmad. If you read in Psalm Ved, Uttarchik, mantra number 1500. In Psalm Ved, Indra, chapter number 2. Hymn number 152 in Yajur chapter number 31, verse number 8. In Rig Ved, book number 8, hymn number 6, mantra number 10. In Atharva Ved, book number 8, hymn number 5, mantra number 16. Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 126, verse number 14. He is mentioned as Ahmad. He is mentioned as Nara Shansa. Nara Shansa means, Nar means man, Shansa means praise. A man who is praiseworthy. If you translate into Arabic, it is Muhammad. He is mentioned by name Muhammad as Nara Shansa in several places. In Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 13, mantra number 3. Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 18, mantra number 9. Rig Ved, uh, book number 1, mantra number, hymn number 106, mantra number 4. Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 142, mantra number 3. Rig Ved, book number T, 2, hymn number 3, mantra number 2. Rig Ved, book number 5, mantra number 5. Mantra number two, Rig Ved, book number seven, hymn number two, Mantra number two, Yajur Ved, chapter number twenty, verse thirty seven, Yajur Ved, chapter number twenty, verse fifty seven, Yajur Ved, chapter number twenty one, verse number thirty one, Yajur Ved, chapter number twenty one, verse number fifty seven, Yajur Ved, chapter number twenty eight, verse number two, Yajur Ved, chapter number twenty eight, verse number nineteen, Yajur Ved, chapter number twenty two, verse number forty two. I can keep on going, only giving references from the Hindu scripture about the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He is also prophesied in Kalki Purana as Kalki Autar. That his mother's name will be Sumati, that's Amina. His father's name will be Vishnu Yash, that's Abdullah. He'll be born in a place of peace, Sambala, that is Makkah. He'll be born in the, in the family of the chief of the village of Sambala, that is chief of Makkah, that is Quraysh. He'll have four companions, talking Hulfa Rashidin. On and on, if you are, if you really believe in your scriptures, you have to follow and believe in the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him.